Hello, preset system users. This is Pi with SRLounge.com, and I wanted to give you all an update as far as what we're doing with the new Lightroom preset system. Many of you have asked why we're taking so long with the update, and it's really because over time, I've really wanted to kind of revamp what we've done with the preset system. We have currently what I feel, what we all strongly feel is the best workflow presets on the market for creating virtually any look within just a couple clicks. Well, all these changes are gonna make it even better, that much more powerful and easy to use as well. Let me show you what we've done here. I wanna get your all opinions as well. See whatever else you want us to consider building into this new version. Okay, so what we have here is if you look at the top left, we have three different categories. We've broken it out a little bit. So we have soft import, soft base tone, soft stylized. And I might change up the, uh, the Kind of naming of these because I don't like that the the acronym for this is IBS because that sounds like irritable bowel syndrome. And so I might change that to something else so it's not IBS when we come up with kind of the developing framework. But for Vivids, we have the same thing. Vivid import, base tone, stylized. So when you import, you're going to select one of the import presets. Now upon import, this is basically when you're going to set the color toning of the image. Now if you don't import with one of these presets, that's totally fine. You can do it after the fact too. But we would go with either a signature color, we'd go with signature color plus skin desaturation saturation and we've modified the skin desaturation uh, much more than it was before so basically now skin desaturation won't affect overall tones in the image nearly as much so you can see when we go from uh, signature color to skin desat we're not losing a lot of our blues we're not losing a lot of the other tone variation it's just affecting skin tones we also have a version of this with oversaturation plus skin tone desat so again these are all designed for portraiture so it basically oversaturates the image while preserving skin tones and you can kind of see that over here if we zoom into our couple and i flip back and forth between the signature color versus the oversat plus skin desaturation, you'll notice that their skin tone really doesn't change much at all. So it's a nice little adjustment there so you guys can get to an oversaturated look, which works really, really well for filmic looks, okay? Because a lot of filmic stuff has that kind of oversaturated look. We also have our signature black and white conversion. And let me show you on a different image. I want you guys to see how awesome this black and white conversion is. Let's select this one. This was uh, actually, some of these images are from our Bahamas workshop that we did with the f-stoppers. So here's a standard black and white conversion uh, with just Lightroom. I'm gonna go ahead and create a virtual copy of that and let me show you the uh, signature black and white. And then we're just going to, we can brighten them up both at the same point. So I'm just gonna brighten this by 0.33. Let's go up to 0.66. I'm gonna go up to 0.66 on this. So they have the same amount of exposure and everything, it's just the uh, preset's been applied to one versus the other. So going side by side with these, you can see how the SR Lounge conversion does so much better as far as getting a nice look with great contrast, really revealing skin tones quite a bit better. This is their skin tone bumps in this black and white. So the black and white conversion looks absolutely awesome. Okay, let's go back to our develop module and let's just check this out. So upon import, we're gonna select that color, okay? Let me get back to a different image here. Let's go over to, uh, we'll go over to this image actually. Actually, yeah, we'll do this image and you know what, actually let's do this one. Okay, I'm gonna select this image. So we would choose our color upon import. Let's say that we're gonna go with signature color. Uh, just I just wanted to retain the standard color that it had with the, uh, the camera. From here, we're gonna drop into our base tones. Now with the base tones, what we do is we select basically the tonal adjustments that we wanna have. If we want this to have an HDR look, we would go down to HDR and we're gonna apply HDR and move up until we get to basically a point where we like the shadows. And right here, I think it's about right. If we go up too high, it's gonna have a very unnatural look that I don't like for my HDR stuff. So I'm gonna go down a notch and just kind of reduce the exposure a bit so it has a little bit more of a dramatic tone to it. And that's really it. If we wanted to have a high contrast look, we go to a contrast boost. And for this image, it's really not gonna be one that works. So let's go and find a different image uh, that'll work well with this. So I'm gonna go over here. Let's do something like this. This is a beautiful shot of our bride right here. Okay, so I'm gonna select the signature color and it applies that lovely signature coloring to this image. Now let's say we wanna soften the skin a little bit more. All we do is go to soften skin and we can click down to the different soften variations to get to a beautiful soft look for an image like this. This works great for close up portraits like this one. Okay, if we wanna go with a higher contrast look, let's say we have this in black and white. We go with a signature black and white look. We go, oh, I want a little bit more contrast. I can go with a contrast boost and with each step up, it's gonna give it just a little bit more of a kick in that contrast level and you can find exactly where we wanna go. We also have one, let's go again to another image. Let's find something that'll work nicely. Let's see, 
Let's go with this one actually. So let's say we wanted to go with a black and white for this image. I'm gonna reset it out by hitting Control Shift R and you'll notice that it was an it was kind of a very bright image to begin with. So the blacks are gonna have a little bit of an issue here. So I'm gonna go with the signature black and white conversion, but then I'm gonna basically drop my black. So I can go with a black crush and it's gonna crush down the blacks until I get to a point that I like. So these are the base tone variations. Now here's the beautiful part. With the stylization, you add this on top of it. So Essentially what we had before was duplicate versions of stylization based on the different color. Now we only have two. You either go with a bright wash or a bright wash filmic and it's going to retain whatever color was there when you got to this point basically. So when I apply bright wash it's going to apply it to the black and white. When I apply a filmic version of that it goes over the black and white. Same thing with the neutral, same thing with the neutral punch, with the punchy wash and so forth. All these are going to apply over whatever uh, basically colors that you had there to begin with. So let's say if we wanted to go with a color version, well, what I might do is you could always just hit V to flip back to uh, color, but I kind of want to have those color processing effects that I would have if I had done the import. So what I'm going to do is go with a signature color with skin desat for this image. I'm going to go to that black crush again, and I'm going to go back to the punchy wash. Okay, and from here, I, I, I like the look of it. Let's say I want to add grain to it, so I'm going to do that. So I add grain, and we also have the same options for basically saturation and so forth. We've actually gone ahead and we've added a bunch more too. If you go down to color toning, you can see that we have several different options here. So if we want to do a skin desat light versus uh, a heavy skin desaturation versus standard desaturation, everything. We even have added new sections for green kicks where it's going to basically boost green tones in the image. Uh, works awesome for images that are shot in kind of nature-like settings and so forth. Let me actually show you one of those uh, kicks right now. I'm going to reset this one out. Let's go to a different image. I'm going to go to one in the Bahamas because I think it'll work well. We have blue skies and stuff. If my Lightroom will actually work with me. Okay, let's go find... We'll go to this image. Actually, we did we work on that image already? Let's do one of these images. Any one of these will work. We'll select this one. Yeah, that one's totally fine. I don't even know if their eyes are open, but it don't matter. Okay, are their eyes open? Let's see. Ah, kind of. They're a little squinty. That's okay, though. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just adjust my crop. Again, we can go up to the top. We have signature color here, but this is the cool thing. So let's say we apply signature color, and we're like, okay, that's nice. But I would like to give the sky a little bit of a kick. So I can go down to color toning, and under color toning, we have this blue kick, and we have two versions, one for standard landscapes. We have one for skin desat, which is for portraiture. So by selecting this, it's going to kick the background down while retaining all of our skin tones, basically. So if we undo that, you can see that the skin tones haven't been adjusted but just the blues in the background are dropping, which creates a really beautiful, dramatic blue background. We can do the same thing if this were set to, say, a black and white. I can go down, and I have the same thing under black and white toning. We have this whole setup right here, dramatic black and whites with skin tone per preservation for portraiture. So when we drop into this, we can drop down the background to whatever level we want and create this beautiful, dramatic black and whites that previously would take quite a bit of work to do. So now it makes it much more simple. And combining these, you can do mixtures of them. So let's say we want to do a black and white with a punchy wash. And at this point, I want to lift a little bit of my shadows. So I'm just going to go to HDR a little bit just to lift a little of my shadows until I get to a point that I like. So I'm going to go maybe right here because I feel like that looks a little bit more natural. And I love it. If I want to, say, choose a different level of contrast, I can do a contrast boost. If I want to go soften the skin, I can do that at any point in time with that image. I can even go back and say, say, I want to do a punch, punchy wash with a grainy and filmic look. I can select that, and it preserves everything that we've done so far in the image until we go back to basically another version of the import where it's going to choose, where we choose basically another color option, essentially. All right, so that's what's been done with the new system. So let me go to another image to show you what the workflow would be. It's very simple, very straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, let's see here. Let me find a nice little shot that I like. Let's do one from, uh, there's a wedding that we recently did that I had this shot of the, the groom putting a, a necklace onto the bride. It looked amazing. Let me go find that. I think it is. Why can I never find things when I need to? Actually, I don't want to make you guys wait around. So let's just find. Oh, there it is. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Where was it? Where was it? There it is. Perfect. Okay, let's jump into this one. So. I would choose my color. So let's say I'm going to go with a standard color look. If we want to go with a skin desaturation, we can. Um, that's totally fine too, either one. I'm going to go with just a signature color. And then from here, I just want to soften the skin a little bit more. So I'm going to go to soften plus a little bit. And then I'm just going to adjust my exposure. And there we go. I'm, I'm basically done with this image. I might warm it up a little bit just to get a little more moody and dramatic. But that's it. 
from two clicks, we were able to go to a nice softened version of the image. We've also tweaked our sharpening as well. So when you zoom in, you look at the details, we're not sharpening the pores anymore. We, we actually broke out the vivid and the uh, portraiture softening into two different steps. And so that way, when you're sharpening over portraits with any of these items, with any of these import presets, um, it won't be sharpening pores and things like that, that it was kind of having an issue with that in the last version. So Vivid has a much different sharpening applied than the import category. And all of the sharpening and kind of profile adjustments, those are made in the import section. So if you want to ever adjust those to suit your own personal preferences, you totally can by just adjusting these presets as opposed to adjusting all the, you know, say base tones or stylized versions or anything like that. All the other stuff is just uh, kind of stylizing versus import apply sharpening profile corrections and all that kind of stuff over the image Okay, so hopefully this makes sense everything else still works the exact same way So for example if we go ahead and we make a version of this that's going to be filmic Let's say that I want to uh, go with a neutral wash with filmic color on this image And I decide that actually I'm gonna go with a punchy wash for the filmic I decide I want to soften the skin just a little bit more I'm gonna soften a little bit more and then I want to change the uh, the overall curve to it I can do the same thing so I chose a punchy wash filmic um, so I'm just gonna go down to whatever curve I want based on the color schema so if I want say a warming I'm gonna go down to warming vintage punch and I can select one of the different vintage tonings to uh, apply to the image to give it whatever look I want it to have okay so everything else works the exact same way you stack the curves over those uh, adjustments but hopefully these few adjustments that we talked about, hopefully making these adjustments to the soft import base tones and stylized will help you guys in getting closer to exactly where you need to be really without doing anything with your left hand. The goal is that we can select a signature color, soft skin, and we're basically done without even having to touch the keyboard or anything like that. We want to be able to edit with just our right hands or left hands if you are left-handed. All right, so that's it for these adjustments. I know there's some pretty big changes and when we release the full set, we are gonna come out with a new set of tutorials and so forth, but please let me know what you think in the Facebook group so I can kind of incorporate everyone's ideas and so forth into this. As is, I think we have the best workflow preset system going. This new update's gonna make it even better and with all of your feedback, it's gonna be even better than that. All right, so thanks everybody. We'll see you on the next video.